praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us carry on focusing on Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, Make my heart like unto thine. A prayer of Saint John Marie Vianney. I love you, my God, and my only wish is to love you until the last moment of my life. I love you, O oh my infinitely lovable God, and I would rather die in your love than live even for a single moment longer without it. I love you, Lord, and the only grace I ask of you is to be permitted to love you eternally. My God, if my lips cannot tell you every moment that I love you, then I desire that my heart may repeat it with every beat. Amen. We now have a reading from the scriptures. The reading that we have, my dear friends, today is the first reading of the Mass of the Day from the book of Sirach. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers in their generation. And there are some who have no memorial who have perished as though they had not lived. They have become as though they had not been born. And so have their children after them. But these were nevertheless men of mercy, whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten, where their descendants it will remain, a godly inheritance to their posterity. Their descendants stand by the covenant, their children also for their sake. Their posterity will continue forever and the glory will not be blotted out. The word of the Lord. My dear friends, this reading that we have today is taken from the book of Sirach. It's one of my favorite books of the Old Testament. A book that is in the Catholic Bible, but unfortunately our Protestant brothers and sisters don't have it. Here it gives us, <clears throat> in these chapters, speaking in praise of holy men. Today's reading speaks of men and women who are not known. There's no memorial to them. They are forgotten. These are simple people who lived holy lives. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is the theme that I would like to speak on today. The theme is... People who have been living holy lives, ordinary people. Because everyone is called to holiness. Let me now read to you a passage from Vatican II. All Christians of whatever rank or status are called to the fullness of Christian life and to the perfection of love. By this holiness of life, they acquire ever more the likeness of Christ and more and more effectively cooperate in the salvation of the world. And so, my friends, what we see here is 
the call to holiness. Pope Francis likes to speak of it as next door saints. Simple, ordinary people like you and me who are called to be saints and are living saintly lives. They might never be known by the larger group and yet they are living saintly lives. And who are these people? Parents, for example. Just imagine, I, I was trying to calculate a mother, the moment a lady or girl, the moment she decides to get married and have children, six lives of every day of their life is given, dedicated to their family. Six hours of their day is dedicated, given for their family. What a sacrifice. Every day from the moment they decide to have a child, six hours, every day. They can't decide, I'm going to take an off. No. They carry on working. Mothers and also fathers. My dear friends, they are next door saints. We think of the people who are sick in bed and have been housebound or homebound for days, weeks and months and some even for years and without complaining. They are next door neighbor saints. We think of the religious, priests and nuns, now old and forgotten in the infirmaries, quietly living a life of prayer. They are our next door neighbor saints. Right now I'm reminded of a person, a family friend of ours, my home. This lady, her husband died many years back. She had a special child, quite big. But she couldn't leave him alone. When the husband died, this lady was not working. So she had to look after the house. She had to look after the child. But this boy couldn't manage on his own. And if she left the home, he would start screaming and yelling. So she couldn't leave the home. The only time she could leave for a few moments was when he was asleep in the afternoon. And that's the time she would go do a little shopping or visit anybody and come back. And this she carried on every day of her life. Next door saints. Let me read to you this little quotation from Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She speaks of this next door saints. The individuals who emerge as the greatest figures of sanctity often come from humble beginnings and are not easily recognized. The mystical aspects of their lives which shape their character and actions remains hidden from the view. My dear friends, I suggest that for a few moments reflect and think in your life of at least one next door saint that you are aware of. Maybe someone who is living next door on your neighborhood, or your church, your workplace, maybe in your school or college or somewhere. Let's spend some time as we focus upon Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. saint of yours. Remember that these are the people who spur us on to holiness. When we look at their lives of holiness quietly in the background, we would like to be like them. I wish I could hear your stories. Each one of you of your next door neighbor saint, it would be so beautiful to hear. It would fill not just a book, it would fill volumes, our next door, inspiring saints. And now, my dear friends, as we look upon Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, what way can we become saints? The ideal way is 
by surrendering our lives to Jesus completely. And so as we look upon Jesus, we shall now sing the hymn, All to Jesus I Surrender. The hymn, All to Jesus I Surrender. As we look upon Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to live with you and for you. Lord, we have just made a surrender of our lives to you. We can't manage on our own. Give us the grace that every moment of our lives we may live out that surrender only with your grace. And now let us bring our intentions before the Lord. We pray especially for that one person who is your next door neighbor saint. And also for the grace that we become and live like saints. Lord Jesus, you have said, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. To the session of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Jesus, you said, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. To the session of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, you said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. To the session of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall now have the benediction with the hymn, Let Us Bow in Adoration. Let us bow in adoration. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, 
Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. My dear friends, let us now, as we end this adoration half hour, holy hour, that we pray and desire now to live as next door saints. <laughs> 